a whole lot of toppers from News Canvas this time. And you can see their name is there, their ranks are there, and they have scored marvelously well. That's how their CLAT Air ranks are what are stated. We are very proud of each one of them. And I believe that you all must be wondering and waiting as to what was their strategy like? How did they get such a wonderful rank? So, you know, I have so many of them and I am anyways very, very ecstatic to begin this discussion. So let's start with Aprame. Aprame, how was the paper like? Because this time it was a nightmare. Current affairs section was all upside down. What was your first reaction when you saw the paper? Uh, uh, right. So I actually did, don't start with GK. I started with legal. So legal was pretty easy. And until I, fin I, I go with legal, then logic, then GK, then English, and if I have time. And so when I did legal and logic, I thought it was a very easy paper and I should get a 100 plus. Yeah. But then went to GK and it was horrid. Uh, yeah. But I think it turned out pretty good and uh, contrary to my expectations of legal being very good, it was pretty mid, but GK was co comparatively better than what I've seen other scoring. I got a 21.25. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, so Anirudh, what do you think? Uh, you know, GK had passages, you know, in terms of the number of questions that we usually expect, it was very different. This time, the number of passages and the number of questions was all inverted. So did that, you know, give you a shock or did you maintain your calm and thought as to anyways, I have prepared? How did you deal with that? Um, so the thing is, the number of questions per caselet or per passage, it doesn't matter to me. Uh, what matters to me is the quality of the questions and whether they're answerable or not. I mean, Generally, they ask us very relevant topics of what happened in the particular year. I mean, I was actually quite surprised this year, considering how India has been the president of so many world events, world summits, and we had three yes. chief justices this year. So I expected questions to come with some relevance, but it's fine. Like, if you have a preponderance to read in general, you could have answered some of these questions, but it's fine. We covered up in the other section. Uh, is right. What Right, right. So Nivedita, what do you think? Did daily updates, event analyze help you in preparing for the D-Day because they were very comprehensive? Or did you like GK Shorts and Sarthi more from News Canvas? Honestly, GK isn't my strong suit. So yeah. it was something I procrastinated a bit, but um, all the materials that I got, it was very easy to access. Everything was very organized. So it did definitely make the process a lot easier. Um, my average score for GK for mocks is usually around 15. I got around 14 this time, so I, I mean, it didn't really make that much of a difference. Right. Expect these topics to be asked. A lot of uh, relevant topics that we had learned weren't present. Yeah, but then I think I managed. Yeah. So I think Abhipsha, while you were speaking, Nivedita, Abhipsha was thinking of her time, of how she sailed through. So Abhipsha, what used to happen? What used to be your daily routine? Like you used to get material from News Canvas. There was daily updates. There was event analyze. You must be referring to some other sources as well. I'm not denying that. So if there is a lot of material in your hand, how do you manage? I think I never expected to score good in GK because I, I thought that, you know, it would be really impossible to you know, learn up everything that's happening every single day. So yes. I kind of read through everything and I took my chances and I did pretty well in this paper than I generally did in mocks in GK. In mocks, my score would be around 15, but this time I scored 20. So reading as much as you read you still have possibilities you just increase your chances that's it you can i think uh, no one has ever scored 35 on 35 in gk so it's just that how much you can score, take. i don't think i would be able to score it as well yeah so, so it's like as much as you can you can take chances if you have some idea you can at least eliminate two of the choices and come down to two so you still have chances so i think that was pretty much my strategy just to attempt as much as just can. like abhipsha told that she tried to attempt as much as she could by elimination uh, did you also do the same abhinav did you also try to make um, educated guesses in this time paper so the thing was that when I stopped, when I moved on to the GK section, and the thing is that I always attempt the GK section first. So as soon as I saw that and 
so at that moment i wasn't even aware that we had a few like less passages at that That's point acha okay so like so like a very weird thing happened with me was that as soon as i finished gk section and moved on to the other section somehow i came up with like a number that i had attempted 26 questions in gk but while i had only attempted 20 so that was like a kind of a weird experience that i had in that paper but the thing was that fake lie that i had told myself that i had attempted like 26 questions was the thing that boosted me throughout the paper and okay. when it comes to educated guesses i did make a few educated guesses and they did work out for me so yeah and the thing was that while i was solving mocks i was getting like an average of 16 to 18 marks in gk but this time i got like a 13.5 but the thing was that lie that i told myself like that thing really worked out with me for my favor and okay. yes the topics were very different from anything that i could have ever, ever expected but yeah i was ready for them nevertheless okay so much has been talked about what was the actual d day like now let's move back to your journeys nihal would you like to tell me as to how many times did you actually revise the whole event list that was given to you or how many times did you actually revise the whole syllabi so i did put out a few Three or four hours are really just for GK. Nihal, can we have your voice a bit louder, if it is possible? Yeah, one minute. Yeah, because I told back forth in the journey, so I think he's just moved himself. Yeah, back is this good now? Way. Yeah, yeah, better. <laughs> this is good now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what I was saying is, I put three to four hours a day for GK because that was never my personal strong suit. I only scored an eleven this time. And I was usually getting around ten to fifteen in my mock. So I recognized that it was never my strong suit, and so I had to put effort into it. It did kind of work out, I guess. Eleven uh, is not a great score, but it was okay. I, uh, in comparison to the other sections as well, it was definitely a b- awful section this time as, a, as compared to previous years. But the thing is, if you put in effort, GK is really a very good differential option because the, as you can see, the biggest variance in GK scores. Especially as you get into the higher ranks, maybe rank uh, rank between rank like one and two hundred, there would be a great difference between the GK scores, right? GK out of thirty-five, if you can say get twenty, that is still great. That is still a very good score, depending on of course the difficulty of the paper. So I put three to four hours in every day, and besides that, I read two newspapers pretty much every day that I could. Uh, I read the Times of India and the Hindu. I especially paid attention to the editorial section because that was one of the most Informative sections of the newspaper that I read. So I think my preparation personally did work out for me, given that I am not the strongest in this particular section. But especially if you have a thing for GK, like you really enjoy reading about GK, current affairs, and events, it shouldn't feel like a chore to you. It is interesting. You know, it's interesting to read about as well. So it shouldn't feel as much as a chore. It shouldn't feel like you're studying, right? In fact, it was uh, very interesting. So, yeah, I think it was okay for me. A uh, GK. Uh, in terms of preparation, uh, also in terms of preparation, right before the paper, I took a, I always uh, take a minute to read the GK before actually starting to attempt it, and I tried my best not to panic after looking at the section. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for my preparation for GK. No worries. So I said, what according to you is more important when we talk about uh, current affairs preparation for CLAT? Is it consistency, uh, maintaining the consistency throughout, or revising this whole syllabi more number of times? Uh, I I don't feel like they should be mutually exclusive. But if I had to pick one, I would say consistency by far. It's fine if uh, you miss a couple of days, but I think it. in the long run it pays off if you're doing it consistently rather than revising everything at the last minute and i think if you're someone who diligently does gk every day and as nehal said if you enjoy doing it it doesn't feel like a chore if you can do it every day if you can put in the hours then even if it's an unprecedented section like this year you will be able to do it 
because you'll be able to make more educated and calculated guesses. So yeah, I think consistency by far is more important. But I think both should you know work in a synergy so that you can optimize that section. I'm sorry, you, you aren't audible. Your voice is breaking. Okay. So uh, can I have Ashmita now? Ashmita, yes, how many months did you actually prepare uh, for CLAD? When did you begin? Did you begin September for or October? When did you actually begin? Uh, I began like in March, to be honest. I just was consistent. I kept reading the newspaper. And like from May onwards, I put actual focus into it. So uh, I had notes made. I referred to News Canvas and a lot of other sources. And uh, I also had a discussion with my friends. Anirudh is one of my study uh, it's part of my study group. So we were discussing major events. As you know, this is Shanukha Manmat waves like that. He has his own signature. Jai Maharashtra, like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. So you you both uh, did a group study and then could ask each other, viva was each other, something like yes, that? basically. Great. And then Sanskar, let's come to you. Uh, last but not the least, definitely. So, Sanskar, anything that you would want to mention about your CLAD journey, which you feel is really important and students usually miss? Um, I think when it comes to GK, particularly, uh, one major learning that I had, especially after ALIT, was that I felt I could have attempted a lot more questions in ALIT, but I kind of got a bit scared because I wasn't, I wasn't sure of the answer, but even though I could narrow it down to two, I just didn't take that risk. But I learned that you have to take calculated guesses in GK because there's very le uh, the very few chance uh, there's a very slight possibility that you'll confidently and you know 100% know the answer to each and every question. So if you can narrow it down to two, just take a shot, and uh, I'm, I think more often than not you will get it right. And also, like everyone said, consistency and revision is the key to GK. Yes. Now let's come to unanimously. Anybody can answer for this question. Um, anybody of you who has not, who had not made notes and just studied online through the material, did not make any notes and just studied from the material, anybody. So everybody made notes. That's what I understand from each one of you. Now, the kind of notes that you all might have made. Okay. Aprame wants to say something. Aprame, you want to say something? Yeah. I, I don't think I made notes initially okay. and I think there was a group. And they had made a lot of notes by then. And after that, I started contributing like two months before CLAT. But until then, there were, there were no notes at all. Yeah. So why did you start contributing two months before? Did you feel that there was a need to make notes? That's how? Uh, honestly, because the other two had done it, so I had to contribute. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's so sweet of you to be very honest. Uh, but yes, the reason why I'm asking is because when you get... A lot of material. Usually a student doesn't come to know as to where to make notes from. Some of them don't make notes and then also convert. Others make notes and then convert. So, um, you know, I feel as, as difficult it is to answer this question as to whether a group study is important or not to prepare. You could even do self-study. Similarly, I feel some make notes and some don't make notes. Now, uh, another question which probably anybody or everybody can answer related to the number of hours that you might have invested for current affairs prep, did you do it daily or you did it alternate? And if yes, how many hours? Anybody and everybody can answer. I did it daily for like two hours a day for about 70 days. So that's like a 140 days. Uh, that's like 140 hours and I scored 14. So that's a, a single mark for like 10 hours of preparation. But, you know, I, even though it seems a lot, I think so it's kind of worth it because at the end of the day, when I look at the paper, the thing, the my way of evaluating all the sections is that I put them on a score of the amount of marks I can get versus the amount of time invested in the actual writing the paper. I put in like six to seven minutes. I spent like six to seven minutes solving the GK section and I got like 14 marks. So I think so that was really the, the thing that pushed me to get okay, into a good time or otherwise this part yeah. would not have been possible. We get the most coding section because you don't spend more time on it. You just do it like that only. For mathematics, yeah. quantitative aptitude and logical, you need to at least solve it. For verbal also, you need to see the whole passage if it is unseen comprehension. In fact, Akash also <laughs> wanted to say something, I believe. 
Yeah, so uh, I think for me personally, GK was always a strength. And uh, so it was extremely like disheartening for me when I saw the paper and the unprecedented kind of questions that they asked. Uh, but I agree with Abhinav, like the ROI on GK is extremely low. The input is very high, but the output is more often than not extremely low in the actual paper. Because the consortium tends to, you know, throw a couple of curveballs at you and it gives you uh, questions that you cannot expect. Um, me personally, I think in the earlier stages of my preparation, I was putting in maybe two to three hours, excluding the newspaper into GK. And I think in the last month, anywhere between seven to nine hours daily. And that way, that's why it was even uh, more disheartening for me when I saw the actual paper. But I think that's fine. I think that's part of the process. You can't neglect GK. Even if, even though it's an extremely low ROI section, you have to do GK. Because even if you're getting 10, 14, 15, 20, it's an irreplaceable part of your preparation and the paper itself. So I think uh, if anyone is preparing at this stage, they should start with two to three hours. I think that's a good place to start. Yeah. I don't know. Um, you mentioned your favorite source resource from news canvas was it the daily updates event analyzed 250 mcqs weekly quiz monthly quiz gk shots rp we offered so much that i couldn't even complete event analyzed, event analyzed uh, I, I, yeah i really like event analyzed because of the fact that i felt like while in daily updates there was a lot of topics which i thought were not important but when it came to event analyze, there were only those topics which were very highly researched and they also had like a history attached to them and like all the geopolitical significance was given so okay. the thing was that after you have went after you have read through all of that you can kind of like start making educated guesses and right. trying to like get those answers right so that is why i really like even analyzed can we have the same questions answer from anirudh also anirudh oh ma'am i concur with him like uh, it was a very uh, comprehensive and very succinct way of giving us the relevant information okay. so uh, so like I just used it. Anybody who liked the 250 MCQs more? Because, uh, you know, for those who were majorly focusing on uh, Elit, they gave us the feedback that 250 MCQs and weekly quiz and monthly quiz were, um, you know, more to the point and that's how they liked it more. So anybody of you who had used um, the 250 MCQs to study and all that, anybody and would like to say yeah, something so, about it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so... Uh, uh, the study group that I was a part of, we did use a news canvas questionnaires and question banks uh, in the revision stage of our uh, preparation. I think question banks are extremely helpful when you're revising. Instead of going through the okay. talk again and again, which might be extremely large, for us it was about 1,000 pages. So we couldn't go over the talk again and again. So yes. in that situation, I think question banks are extremely helpful. And yeah, I did. I think uh, my entire study group, we really used it a lot. and. Yeah, we did find it pretty helpful. Uh, Any one of you kept on checking the Telegram group that we had and followed the schedule that I or Mehka ma might have posted uh, for revision? Or you made your own tailor-made or customized revision schedule? Anybody followed that? Uh, sorry, ma'am, could you repeat the first yeah. part of your question? It was... Yeah, so I said that any one of you uh, might have checked the Telegram groups that were there for you and uh, did go through the strategy or, you know, the last mile revision schedule that we did day one, day two. Any one of you might have used it or you all made your own tailor-made revision schedule. Anybody would like to answer? Yeah, so okay. I followed, and then I Ashmit. followed the schedule very religiously. So the thing that I did was even while traveling, I did. I would carry my phone with me and would download all like the news, kind of daily updates and event and like that you were supposed to like learn that day. Because the thing was that very early on on my, when I started preparing for CLAD, I took like a five day vacation. And that was the part when I missed my, missed my schedule completely. And I really regretted that. So when NAM restarted the schedule for people who, are, who joined it, that's when I decided that, you know, I'm not going to give up on, like following the schedule, no matter what happens, I'll follow that. Yeah, Aparavan wanted to answer, I believe. Yes. Yeah, uh, I think more than the content that was there on the website, because I got to know about it later, the lists which you were sending on Telegram, that's what I used more uh, with respect to news canvas. That was really helpful. 
I I went through all the topics on this list because because it was month wise to at the second stage of my revision. So my first stage of revision uh, was reading through all sources that were there, including news channels and the CIS and a few other sources. And then in the second revision, I went through this news channels and had notes too because we had made them by them. So I just went through the notes. Yeah. Okay. Ashmita also wanted to say something that time. So I actually started following the last mile revision, and then like I, it was too rigorous for me basically. So then after that, I started following my own schedule, but it was it's kind of on the same lines as the news canvas one. Wonderful. So Abhipsha and Sanskar, any uh, one of you, and even Nihal, would like to mention if you used the Instagram stories, if you check those, uh, which were there on the Instagram page of News Canvas. Or did you go through the YouTube channel of News Canvas, or even Nivedita? Anybody so likes so... that? Yeah, Sanskar and Nihal, turn by turn, please. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. So I actually deactivated my Instagram. So this was started. I did watch. What... There was an yeah. attempt to focus, and I deactivated Instagram. My so God. Possibility of yeah. not hard yeah. truth, hard reality. Yes, Nihal wanted to say something. Okay, I I didn't deactivate my Instagram, but I definitely didn't use my Instagram at all pretty much during the last month. I did yeah. use the YouTube. Uh, I did use YouTube, however. So yeah. the YouTube channel was quite helpful actually as a yeah. more immersive experience for GP. Yeah. And yeah, it was pretty good. I'm sure the Instagram would have been of use as well. But yeah. And us... Nivedita would like to say something though. Same here, ma'am. I was trying to keep myself away from Instagram. And, yeah. Uh, Instagram is such a big and huge distraction. I have come to this realization now, after you know every, the whole year, the students were telling me, "Ma'am, if you could give those questions, except from Instagram to the Telegram channel as well." And we used to try to you know give them some way or the other. But now I understand that how huge a distraction was Instagram for all of you. So we have just three four minutes left, and I would want um, your journey of CLAT to be memorable for us as well. So we want just one line each from you uh, to describe your journey um, as to how was it? It was exciting. It was worth remembering. How was it? How would you get reminded of this one year or these many months um, to the whole of your life? After ten years, which word would you use to describe this whole year of CLAT preparation to everybody? Let's start with Sanskar. I might say uh, three words: uh, stressful, yes. chaotic, but worth it in the end. Wonderful. What about Ashmita? I would also say it was worth it, and I would say it was very. I mean, it was stressful in the end. <laughs> okay, Akash. Yeah, I think it's very hard to put into a few words, but yeah. uh, if I had to pick a single word, it would be worthwhile. It would be worthwhile. <laughs> yes. I would say stay positive and focus whatever may happen because that's what makes the huge difference. I know my I have a few friends who used to get like higher marks than me in mocks and were and are way more intelligent than me. But the thing was that on the final day they started to panic, and that's how they could not make it. So that's what I would recommend to anyone who's ever going to attempt any kind of exam in the future: don't panic at all, and always stay positive, irrespective of however difficult the mock or the test. Um, uh, ma'am. So uh, again, I agree with Akash. It's 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 not apt to summarize it in. in a few words but i think three words again a uh, consistency fun and rewarding yeah equally rewarding you all are getting into good l and u's right nivedita i guess introspection i learned a lot about myself these two yeah. years uh, i learned what works for me when it comes to studying and yeah aprame right if it's one word Right now, it will be surreal. If it was during the phase between the exam, the results, it was very stressful. Uh, but <laughs> before the exam, it was pretty chill. But it was right after the exam that was really tense. Once I scored my paper, and yeah, that's it. Nihal. 
I would say it was grueling, especially the last two, three months, but it was definitely fruitful in the end, I would say. Yeah, very rewarding, very fruitful. Abhipsha. I think it was a pretty bumpy ride, ups and downs. But at the end, when you see that rank and the score and the fact that you're getting into the dream colleges, it's worth it. It's worth that uh, sleepless nights. See, I see smile on each one of you, you know, everybody's face. And I think you are not only wearing that smile today, since the day you had received your scorecard and came to know about your rank, this smile is still there. And I really wish the whole team of News Canvas wishes that this smile stays on your faces forever. You do wonders in whatever stream, wherever you go in life. And the reason why I ask each one of you to, you know, keep their first name with a space and the rank was to engrave this rank forever in your hearts and our memories as well. Thank you so very much for sparing your time. We wish you all the very best and the team of News Canvas is really proud of you. We are there for you whenever you need us. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much.